Go. The product isn't even that different than the original. It's just a little faster and it has a camera now. So is it like many new tech gadgets really worth you spending all of that money? And joining us now live this morning is Hap Aziz from Rasmussen College. He is a technology expert who has joined us before. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Amy. All right, so we see this all the time. People wait in lines for these products. They cost hundreds of dollars. They're really not even that different from the ones that just came out. Why do we do this to ourselves? Well, I think Americans are much more used to the pace of change of technology and even small incremental changes are exciting. Uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, functionality convergence. For example, a cell phone does many things today that uh, a phone didn't do a few years ago. It's right. your MP3 player, it's your GPS. So people like that additional functionality. But also it's a way of uh, upgrading to the latest and greatest of something without having the expense of something like a car. So uh, even though somebody would like to get a new car every two years, every 18 months that's maybe not economically feasible but something like the iPad uh, the first one came out last year a year ago the second one's now out now people feel like they can upgrade all right so people feel like maybe hey I can't afford the new car but I can afford five hundred dollars for an iPad I may as well just buy that but we don't really need it do we well you know need is a subjective <laughs> thing uh, I can rationalize that I need it for my work so sure. so I like that sort of thing but um, the the feature upgrade yes isn't isn't all that much so, but we're not necessarily seeing that that everybody that had the first iPad is getting the second iPad. I, I believe I, I looked at some statistics just yesterday and I think that it, it was between 60 and 70 percent are new purchases. So, so we don't have to feel bad that everybody is, is uh, charging up their credit cards getting something they just got last year. Obviously technology is changing rapidly but do we look at technology really as more of it's something disposable when we shouldn't be? I mean the, the phones we have now, the computers we have now, they're really not so bad are they? They can pretty much do everything that the new stuff can do. Well, there is something to that, and, and part of it is our culture these days that where we're trying to buy new things and, and we're being told that we need the latest and greatest. The uh, When the color television came out in 1954, it was 20 years before half, Amer half the American population had wow. color TVs, yet today we're upgrading flat screen TVs, I think on the average of uh, four to six years. So uh, yeah, people do have that sort of, I, I need to keep up with my neighbors, I need to get the latest and greatest, and maybe that's not not necessarily wise in all circumstances. All right, Hap Aziz from Rasmussen College. So good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully people will calm down a little bit and not just run out to the store now every time they see something new. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to say that for myself. I know, you're, you're addicted to it, right? Yep. All right, thanks so much. Good Thank to you. see you.